Just try it again. This time, I'll get it. Okay, tell me what I'm thinking. You're thinking of... the 1927 Yankees. I was thinking of a fork. But didn't one of their pitchers throw a fork ball? I don't know. Well, trust me, he did. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, we're okay. Don't get up. I wasn't going to. Guess what? Elf can read our minds. He's not reading mine at the moment. Yes, I am. I'm just ignoring it. How to develop your psychic awareness in one afternoon. We shouldn't you wait for it. Yeah. Came with a pair of these x-ray glasses. You wasted good money on a mind-reading kit. We'll make it all back with our stock market picks. Alf, you come from an advanced civilization. How can you be so gullible? You're right. I'm ashamed. <laughs> nice underwear, Kate. Everyone's here. Where's Kate? In the shower. Thanks. He wouldn't. He might. <laughs> he did. Found her. Alf, you don't walk into other people's showers. I didn't walk in. I just pulled the curtain open. I insist that you respect my wife's privacy. All right, all right. We're moving on. I need to have a family meeting here. Don't crawl back. You do that again, you're a seat cover. Do what again? You know what? Alf, that was very rude hanging up the phone like that. You're right. I'm sorry. You look a little different today. Oh, I know. Did I got... you used to have a mustache? <laughs> no, I got my braces off. Yeah, but didn't you used to have a mustache, too? Now, what do you have to say that's so important? Today is March the 1st. You'd better not be finished. I wasn't. Tomorrow is the 2nd. I'm calling Mindy back. Wait, wait, wait. Come here. Come back here. Every 75 years on March 2nd, I go through a complex physiological and psychological transformation. What? I go goofy. <laughs> All Milmackians go through it. From sunrise to sunset, my personality will change dramatically. Uh, how dramatic is this change? One never knows till it happens. But expect the unexpected. Wildly erratic behavior, personality shifts. The main thing is that I'll do anything to get out of that cage and get my hands on a cat. <laughs> Any questions? I have one. You and the tie. What cage? Oh, uh, the cage you're going to build for me. The one with the reinforced sides. <laughs> uh. Well, I guess it's that time. Good luck, Al. Thanks, Brian. Now remember, Willie, you are not, I repeat, not to let me out of here under any circumstances. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Good. Now let me out. 
I have to use the little alien's room. Oh, sure. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you crazy? Didn't I say not to open this door under any circumstances? Well, I thought I... I thought you really had to go. You have a lunatic on your hands here. You've got to be prepared for all kinds of diabolical tricks. Okay. Okay. You know, maybe I should go just to be on the safe side. Forget it. Good. You're finally catching on. Now, now let me out. I have to go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! Maybe he's in pain. That's just another one of his tricks. Help! Help! Fire! Somebody let me out! He's lying. Oh, 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 there's a big rat in here. Badly. Mom, Dad, get me out of here. <laughs> Lenny, that sounded just like you. Wow, he's really good. Excuse me, but this is really weird. I can't watch. Wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> Did I see that? Oh, Brian, you better go to your room, too. This could get out of hand. This could get out of hand. This could get out of hand. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> Yo, B, Brian, where are you going? To get some milk. Oh, yeah, that would sure hit the spot. Hey, come here. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Not talk to your old buddy? You don't have to be afraid. It's over. I'm back to my old self. Come on, let me out. You said not until sunrise. Brian, it's me, the old Alfer, the guy who taught you how to read minds. In fact, I know what you're thinking right now. What? That you want to let your old pal out of this cage, right? No, I was thinking of a fork. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's my alarm. It's sunrise. You could let me out now. But it's still dark. Not on Melmac. See, that's the time we go by. So I made it. Open up. Are you sure? I'm sure, I'm sure. Open up. I'm hungry. Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, would you check in that cage? <laughs> ah! Ah! Help! Why are you locking me in this cage? Sorry, kid. I need a head start. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs>
I can't sleep now. I'm hungry. All right, all right. We'll uh, we'll stay up and have a snack. What what would you like? Spaghetti. Hey, Raquel! Uh, <laughs> Raquel! Oh, oh, was I snoring again? I'm coming, I'm coming. Keep your shorts on. Who could that be at this time of night? It's probably the airport asking you to keep it down. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Hey, Tanner. Trevor. Hello, oh, hi, really? hi, Raquel. I'm sorry to bother you this late at night, but I just came over. I was hoping I could get lucky. <laughs> I mean, lucky, our cat. Oh. At this time of night? Well, we were worried about him. It's his first night away from home. Yeah, I had a feeling. Raquel, get the cat. I can't go near that cat. You know it makes my feet swell. Oh, yeah. Then you'll be wearing my shoes again. <laughs> I'll get the cat. I'm sorry, Raquel. That's all right. Willie, can I get you something? I just bought one of those international coffees. No! <laughs> something without caffeine. I <laughs> know, no. No, I don't need anything from the kitchen. I can't find the little fella anywhere. Hey, what's going on in the kitchen? <laughs> How long do you preheat these for a cat? <laughs> what's so funny? This toaster oven. Is it a toaster or is it an oven? Why are you holding it? Haven't you ever felt the need just to hold something? I just found the strangest thing, an open can of minestrone in the kitchen. Oh, that was probably the cat. Your cat opens tin cans? It's amazing, I know. We're trying to get them on Letterman. <laughs> that better not be my cologne. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. No, we're going home. I want that cat. No. All right. Who needs them? There are a million cats out there. Give me your car keys. No, Alf, we're gonna go home right now. No! Ha! Ah! 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 You broke my glass eye. I'll buy you another one. You got that right. <laughs> Raquel, that sounds like you're riding more. <gasps> no. Hey, where you go, my toaster oven? <laughs> Unit 6, Street Cat at 13145 Julio Street. What? Julio Street? I hate this town. Where was that again? Uh, uh, uh 13145 yeah. Julio Street. Oh, no. I should have seen this coming. What? I'm running out of those little flags. Unit 9, proceed to 105th and Decker. Investigate break in at Pete's House of Pets. Well, here's 105th and Decker. Look down, it's nowhere near Julio Street. Elf can't be doing all those things. Oh, you're right, of course. How far could he get on a lawnmower? <laughs> all units in the vicinity proceed to County Zoo. Investigate the report of a missing tiger. Oh, my gosh, Alf. Even Alf would have more sense than to kidnap a tiger. Yeah, you're right. Linny, let's get in the car, drive around the neighborhood one more time, see if we can find him. But what if he's got the tiger? And then he won't be hard to spot. <laughs> luck nope we didn't find the lawnmower though oh good i won't have to buy raquel a new one you will if you can't get the bonsai trees out of the blade <laughs> anything on the police scanner just a couple of domestic spats one of them was at the acmonics <laughs> honey you have a headache no i'm thinking of a fork i'm trying to get elf back Metal telepathy. I'm the one who let him get away. I've got to make him come back. Honey, he'll come back when he can. If he can. When? 
Well, by now his 12 hours are up. I'm sure he's come out of it and he might not know where he is. That something terrible could have happened. Well, let's just try to think positively about this, okay? I'm, I'm sure that he'll be home soon. And he, he never misses Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> Excuse me, but do you good people have a fork? Mine reading more. <laughs> oh. Oh, Al. Oh. Al, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Why do you ask? Well, we were so worried. Where were you? Out. Well, do you think this thing has run its course now? To quote Yogi Berra, it ain't over till it's over. There's still one more stage. Well, what stage is that? Quoting people. <laughs> and as Mercutio said, all's well that ends well. No, no, no. Mercutio said, it is not so deep as a well, but tis enough to serve. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But to err is human, to forgive divine. Plutarch, I believe. Well, at least you're recovered. Sort of. Yeah. Or as Marcel Proust said, we are healed of suffering only by experiencing it to the full. Or was that Marcel Marceau? No, that couldn't be right. Marcel Marceau said... <laughs> Or in the words of Dustin, it ill becomes us to just at a fallen potentate, and still less before he has fallen. Say, how much longer are you going to do this? Well, if I may quote Porky Pig, <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> and speaking of Porky, do I smell bacon? No. Well, I'd like to. I thought you spent the whole night eating... eating cats. I don't think I did. At least, I don't feel bloated. But now that you mention cats, I do remember storing something in the garage. The garage? You. This way. If you've stolen any cats, they're going back immediately. You understand? No problem. <laughs> I I I'll take them back right after breakfast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>